Hello, patrons. That's you. Patrons of the arts. Hello. We are but your humble bitches. And we are here today <laughs> to draw for your pleasure and delight. Yeah. How's everybody doing today? Howdy. I've seen multiple people saying this is their first live stream. Whoa, really? Patreon or maybe even otherwise. Wild. When who who said it? Kate Hemingway said it. First bonus stream live. Thank you, Kate. Uh it's Eve Class's first time in a while. Hi, Eve. Jacob wow. Hockey said four plus years watching dropping. This is my first stream live. Whoa. Where you so, been? Yeah, what you been doing? You been busy or something? Anyways, welcome. Glad you could make it. Nathan is still sick. Yeah. <laughs> so let him rest. We're letting him rest. Nathan to bed. Nathan to bed. And then later, Nathan to rise. Oh. <laughs> Makes a Nathan healthy, wealthy, and wise. But uh, in the meantime, we're here and we're sleepy. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be bringing that sort of vibe to this stream. I was taking a nap lunch. before this. Yes, exactly. I was running errands all morning. My friend threw her back because she moved. So oh, I no. I went to get her a heating pad and a compress and then drop it off and then walk back to my apartment. So Where? this is my lunch. Oh, that was nice it? of you to do. <laughs> I don't know. Far. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to keep it generally above your pelvis and below your yeah. your head. But I love having an excuse to go to around where she has moved to. Okay. Because there's a really good uh, Korean grocery bodega. Ooh. It just has like good takeout. So I have like fried chicken. <laughs> I'm just eating a bowl of fried chicken. <laughs> um, the dream. But they also have mochi donuts. And Ooh, yeah. I mean, they have like all sorts of Korean takeout, but I just wanted the fried chicken. I saw it and went, yeah. <laughs> I want the fried chicken. <laughs> It's good. There's a fried chicken place that's open near us that's like very highly regarded. Yeah. It's called mm. Pecking House. It's a like Chinese take on what? sort of a Nashville hot chicken. And uh it's popping off right now. Oh, I really want to go. You should go. I should go right now. Yeah, just leave. I could just leave and go. <laughs> <laughs> I think they don't even open until dinner, but I'm excited to try them. Anyway, yeah, that's awesome. not relevant to most of the people here. Let's draw. Let's draw. That's going to be what people <laughs> are wanting to see. Oh, God. Oh. I will draw first. Woo, what you drawing, son? And I'll tell you right now, I'm going to draw the first suggestion I see. Please draw us a new prime minister. Okay. <laughs> All right. Assuming this is an, an England-based viewer. Nice to meet you. Where you been? <laughs> Don't know if y'all saw that. Don't know if you all saw the Channel Four dedication to Liz Truss. I gotten to watch it because I was running around all morning. It's... Liz Truss's favorite song, apparently, is they Taylor made a Swift. they made a Liz Truss fan cam. <laughs> Essentially, it's so on, funny. on like the news, it was incredibly funny. No, it's so good. I so I'm gonna draw a new a new prime minister. What's well, all also, the qualities can't... of a good prime minister? You can't hear me too, right? No, no. Awesome, perfect. Finally, I'm free. Yeah, tell me what makes I I think okay. Here's what I'm thinking right out the gate. Multiple arms to take care of multiple tasks. I think the new <laughs> prime minister needs to be very small. And malleable tiny. and big brain. I think the best prime minister is an octopus. I think they should have a <laughs> nose and they should have little eyes. Oh. <laughs> I want a prime minister that you look at and you're like, you know when you see him, you're like, you're not going to try to do me dirty. You're just a cute little fella, aren't you? This is Keyhole Ken. This maybe Keyhole Ken should be the new prime minister. Yeah. This is Doug Funny. This is Doug Funny and Keyhole Ken's son. 
What about just a little smile, sort of a humble smile to say like, I'm just like you. Doug Ken, keyhole funny. <laughs> and then we'll we'll First add name, um keyhole last name Ken. <laughs> we're gonna add some eye back because you have to be above a certain age, right? What's the age you have to be to be prime minister? Seventy four. Eighteen. Oh, they need big glasses though. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Deep Blue Ink. They do need big glasses. You're not biased mm -hmm. at all. <laughs> Maybe the new prime minister is Deep Blue Ink. Mm. Deep Blue Ink, are you running? Suspicious. What are you For running prime from? Minister? My, that's not the right eraser. Let's, okay. <laughs> Got Karina's tiny eraser. Oh, I didn't do that. Someone really tried to get like a, when I say keyhole, you say Ken keyhole. <laughs> and the first response is cut you. <laughs> that really, that really Caillou, Keyhole Caillou. Keyhole Caillou. Why not? Then I think the prime minister should have um, big hair. All right, this is this is starting to be Bernie Sanders, a little bit. <laughs> it kind of is a little bit. Maybe Bernie like Sanders. Bernie Sanders was little. <laughs> I mean. I want Bernie Sanders to be Prez. I'm drawing Bernie Sanders, huh? Yeah. Aw. Bernie, you got to do what it takes. You got to get over there to the UK. <laughs> stay for as long as you have to so you can become prime minister. <laughs> they need you right now more than ever. We need him more than ever. <laughs> I feel like Bernie has um, inspired the people here. Uh -huh. So we'll have new Bernies cropping up. Uh, yeah. They need some Bernies <laughs> over there. Yeah. In England, his name would be like Bertle Knee. <laughs> Bertle B. Uh, Sandchester. Yeah. <laughs> Bertle B. Sandchester. <laughs> <laughs> From Worthing Words, England. Worthing Words. <laughs> I I would believe it. You could just say that to me, and I'm like, average man. <laughs> That's a man that spit on British Bake Off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really funny. <laughs> Worthing Worse. <laughs> No, not Bergenworth, the scary college from Bloodborne. Oh, no. We don't want one. that. Uh, thank you to all the people who are saying congratulations to me and Jacob. We appreciate it. We got married yesterday. Yeah. We're literally husband and wife now. That's true. Wow. And we are very excited about it, despite how Exhausted tired we, we sound tired today. tired because they got married yesterday. Yeah. That's true. Where's Tired my from congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we hung out with my family. Yeah, I'm tired from hanging out with my in laws. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that sucks, dude. Freaking exhausting. And then my brother played uh, VR for, I think, about five minutes, and he was the sweatiest I've ever seen him coming out of that. Yeah, he pulled Hi. off the VR helmet and was like, I could do that for the rest of the night without like, stopping. I, I don't think your hydration levels could take it. <laughs> and then he left. <laughs> the hell? There's yeah. a child screaming outside. Oh, no, that was your cat again. No, Joy's asleep in the chair behind Jacob. Aww. We made her a little again? bed. <laughs> we made her a little bed out of this blanket. I don't know if you can see her if I do this. Can you see her? Hi. Can you scoot? So Where do you want me to scoot? The cat. Where do I have to scoot? What? I'm drawing. <laughs> Stop drawing. No one Stop cares. Stop drawing. Show the cat. You can't. She's not even like hardly visible. That's her little nest. She has a little cat nest. 
cat nest ever bream. <laughs> Chat, where's my congratulations? I found a Reddit post from some guy with NSFW in his username last night saying he tried to make a deep fake of me. Oh. But his but my hand was in front of my face too much in the reference video. So he got tired and gave up. <laughs> 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 Congratulations, Karina. Thank you. I'm too irritating. <laughs> you're you're married. Can't fake me. I'm too, I'm just too squirrely. There's just too much shit in front of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have the common decency to like sit still? <laughs> so people so you can, can make a fake video <laughs> using your face. <laughs> Also, yeah, now I have good fried chicken in my cute little animal sushi bowl. Nice. And I would vote for this guy. Well, wait until you see what he's what he's tossing your way. He's really da good. This is the good, the Bud. good budgie. Oh. oh, that's his budget that he wrote. Doesn't he? He kind of looks like the leader. That's is he the Irish prime minister? Is that what I'm thinking of? Who's the dude with the big St. Bernard? I'm just a dumb little American. So the way this guy works is he's kind of like a groundhog, like on Groundhog's Day. Uh-huh. Except he comes out of his, his like prime minister hole once a week and he throws like a good like a good budget at you or like a good law or something. <laughs> Can and, you imagine? <laughs> and then he goes back in. You don't hear from him again until he comes back next week with another good another good law. And everyone's like, how does he keep doing it? You know what his secret is? He listens to what the people actually want. And then he does those things. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's the Irish president. And he can't be like in the pocket of like big oil or, you know, corporations because they can't find him in his he, tunnels. He drew the yeah. Irish president. Well, I kind of did. Yeah, you the did. only pockets he can be in is yours because he's so tiny. Yeah. He people fits perfectly. <laughs> people take turns hiding him in their pockets so that corporations <laughs> so that can't find him. Big oil can't find him. <laughs> <laughs> you never know whose pocket he's going to be in. Yeah, he might already be in yours. How can you be sure? Yeah, do a quick check. Yeah. Everyone check your pockets. Is he in there? What's his name? Burnaby? <laughs> Burn... What did we say? Bur Burnaby, yeah. <laughs> Burnaby Sandworth? Yeah. Burnaby. Everybody please vote for Burnaby. Thank you. He'll come out of his cave. Doing just fine. Doing just fine. All right, I guess that's my drawing. All right. You want to draw, Julia? Sure, I'll draw so Karina can finish her meal. Oh, I finished. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, I'll still draw. Yeah. <laughs> Do it anyway. Draw for our amusement. <clears throat> draw for me, my angel <laughs> of drawing. <laughs> <laughs> In dreams she draws for me. Okay. Ghosts, 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 ghosts. I think that's very <laughs> funny. All right, well, we, we got to start off. We're just going to get like some ghosts in here? Yeah. Yeah. We got to start off with, you know the ghost we all know the, the classic ghost. this is your classic ghost for like children yeah for babies yeah babies love this ghost <laughs> 10 out of 10 all babies recommend okay so we got that ghost and then um do you remember that comic that was about like the ghost, the little ghost who like wasn't great at haunting and he's like rattling the chains and the kid in the bed holds up like a 10 out of 10 card. 
Yes. You remember that comic? I do. This is a dog ghost? Yeah. Oh, a friend. I feel like those eyes have to be like back a little bit more. They don't have to be anywhere. It's a ghost. <laughs> Please, I need to be accurate. Yeah, or else the ghost community is really going to come at me. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I want him to have. This is false, though, because dogs don't make ghosts. Oh? Because they don't have any unfinished business. That's true. Dogs, <laughs> dog, first of all, dogs don't have business at well, all. Well, their business is pooping. Yeah. You got to go outside of your business. a job? Doesn't exist. Sheep dog. I mean, that exists, but to the dog, the dog's just like, I love doing this the shit. The dog's doing that work for free, so it's not work. Uh, yeah, it's volunteering. I'm psyched to be doing this. Touche. And I'll do this, and then when I die, I'll consider my business concluded. Okay. Dog, dog goes. The only dog with unfinished business is going to be Bunny, that dog <laughs> with all the buttons that knows how to talk to people. Yeah. That dog uh -huh. will make the first dog ghost. <laughs> yeah. Julia's always showing me this dog. It's got those little communication buttons. Oh. And the dog like is starting to understand like abstract concepts and I'm like, like dreams. don't I'm like don't do this to this dog. Why are you doing what? this? The dog's getting too smart. And that's but, how you get a dog ghost. I mean, how do you know that the dog understands those concepts? Cuz he uses them she uses them in sentences and like to refer to actual things that are happening. Like it's a dog that's being studied by some universities. Um, and she also like uses it to explain things like, like she knows the word ouch and she'll use it when there's like, she gets a little like, like, like twigs stuck in her paw. Aww. So she'll say ouch and they'll say like, what's wrong? And then she'll lift her paw and then show like, you know, that's so odd. It's yeah. uh, and the dog is always having like an existential crisis. Bunny has anxiety, uh, so... You just gave the dog anxiety? That's what I'm saying. You took a dog and you taught it to understand <laughs> what existence is. Like, Bunny has anxiety and takes anxiety medication and understands that the medication makes her feel better, so she'll request the medicine. I don't know how I feel about that. That's like high key weird. <laughs> That's what I keep saying. <laughs> You want to you want to see something stupid and funny related, not that funny. Yeah, I went to book off because uh -huh. I'm just always like, because it's in the same building as Daiso and Sunrise Mart, so I can like hit up all of my like things I want to spend my stupid fucking money on. Uh huh. But I like to see what weird shit I can find in book off at all times, since this one has all the anime shit. I struck gold, dude. I got a fucking tiger and bunny necklace. Whoa. And it's the Kotetsu one, and he's my favorite. And it's his little call ring. It's his call bracelet, but it's a ring on a necklace. So now I'm married to him. Oh, you're married too. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. congratulations. Yeah, by the way, I also got married to Kotetsu from Tiger and Bunny. And I just love Book Off. You never know what you'll find. And it's always like some random ass... I love when they have Tiger and Bunny merch because like Tiger and Bunny merch is like really old because the anime has been out for like a decade, but they always price it mad cheap. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. And now you got more <laughs> Kotetsus coming your way. <laughs> I can't because, believe it. <laughs> because Ansta sent us a care package from Japan <laughs> and there was some, some Kotetsu figures in there for Karina. I am so grateful because I had a Kotetsu figure, but I fucking broke it. Well, oh. this one is in mint condition. Because it didn't have a stand. It just had like a thing that you leaned him against and his legs are really long. So he kept just falling over and eventually he just fucking broke. <laughs> and then he made Sorry. a ghost. But yeah, I can't believe Ansa's package because I only knew about the Digimon books. Everything else surprised. 
Onsta sent us so much <laughs> cool stuff. It was insane. So cool. I love Onsta. Onsta good. Yeah. We, there, we said it. Julia, what's this a ghost of? Mm. It's just, <laughs> you know. This is one of those like um, Japanese horror like RPG maker ghosts. Oh yeah, it does look like that. <laughs> it's got like a weird face. Yeah, and it's like kind of goofy looking, but still really scary. Yeah, goofy but threatening. Yeah. I'm trying yeah, to figure also. out the noise it would be making with that mouth shape. Onsta so good. I've been e going to a lot of Onsta's uh, great ace attorney streams because she's so fucking funny <laughs> yeah she's very funny yeah and very charismatic yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. what other kind of ghost should i draw um round now you're making me expect that you're gonna fill up all the spaces because those four are so interlocked yeah I mean, it's, that's my goal. Yeah, so just keep filling him in. Yeah, just keep putting in ghosts. Someone said dead Nathan. Probably do need a Nathan ghost. <laughs> no. <laughs> Since He'll Nathan has, has left this world. We have no evidence of that. We keep streaming and Nathan keeps not being here. How can we prove it? Yeah, this is the third stream he's missed, isn't it? Yeah. Because the one week he wasn't sick, we didn't stream. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> People are going to think we are covering it up and we like killed Nathan because no, he put us in his fine. will or something. No. <laughs> yeah, we have a knives out situation going on that we're just trying to settle privately. Yeah. <laughs> With... <laughs> He left everything to Droppy. Yeah. <laughs> it all goes to Droppy. <laughs> oh, is that Nathan? Yeah, right there. I feel like Nathan wouldn't have unfinished business either. Unless the unfinished business was he just wanted to like chill some more. Bro, he'd have plenty of unfinished business, all the shit he procrastinated on. <laughs> but I don't think he can, if, if he got out of having to do that business, he would not stick around to get it done as a ghost. <laughs> he would be like, score. I don't have to finish that shit. <laughs> kind of a ghost. I feel like the best part of dying is is that you don't have to finish your business. Whatever what business you had like, left is no longer your problem. But what if it's business you wanted to finish? No, no such thing. If I die and I haven't like done my Neopets comic, <laughs> I will find a way to do it post-mortem. <laughs> <laughs> if you die before me, I will finish your Neopets comic. But I'm not going to do a good job. I'm going to write that into my will. It's going to go right after me and Lauren's death promise. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds awfully grim when I say it like that. But it's, it's more of a bet. It's a bet. A death bet? I bet her $20 that I would not die naked. Okay. I mean, that seems reasonable. Yeah. That was like 15 years ago. But so. she thinks you will die naked? Well, no, but... I just bet her that, so. <laughs> but doesn't she have to take the opposing position for it to be a bet? Well, I kind of just imposed it on her and she's going along with it. Does she have like conditions for her own death as part of the bet? No, it's just me. It's just you? <laughs> <laughs> Very one-sided. <laughs> Lauren about to catch the biggest L in the very far future. <laughs> <laughs> unless <laughs> unless she orchestrates something she would never so she well she's not gonna have to pay you if you're dead i offered to rent her a penguin for her wedding she's not gonna plot against me <laughs> can you rent a penguin <laughs> uh if you get married at the zoo for an extra fee you can have a penguin attend the wedding that's amazing, actually. Why didn't we think of that, Jacob? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, for like the party. There's still time. There's still time. The wedding celebration, we're going to uninvite all the guests and invite a bunch of penguins. <laughs> Penguin only. They would be in fancy dress. Oh. They're little tuxedos. Yeah. Oh, who's this guy? Crab. He's Is so it a ghost or just a crab? It's a ghost crab. Is the one next to it a mouse? Yeah. I like that one. There you go. Now, he, now you know he's dead. Oh. <laughs> now it's clear. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to just about to say something. Was it about penguins? Fancy dress? I don't remember Dying. what it was. Carob? I think it was about dying, but the moment has passed. You can say that thought died. Hey. hey. <laughs> That's what they're going to say about me when I die. <laughs> they're they're going to say she died. That, no, that thought died. That thought oh, died. Oh, <laughs> I get it. It's The word sounds like two different things. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I'm here with the joke. Yay, Jacob. Thank you. <laughs> also sleepy. I went out to dinner with a friend last night, so that's my entire day's energy gone. <laughs> What'd you eat? Uh, I got a fried chicken sandwich. From where? This is... Uh, a place uh, on no strand. <laughs> oh, what kind of food is it? It's like, it's like bar, <laughs> bar food. Gotcha. Florida, so like sandwiches and fried chicken food. sammies are truly a top tier food item. Truly. Yeah. I Even a bad one is good. Hang out with my friend. Explain to him what Genshin Impact is. <laughs> <laughs> Important stuff. Yeah, because he's doing some recording for it. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool that we get to know people that are involved in making the things that we yeah. watch and play and engage with. <laughs> I love it. I've said this a couple times before, but I've always loved like English voice actors and stuff. So this is truly just like my uh, era of <laughs> yeah. finally that's coming to fruition. We're living the dream. Like, yeah, because like when I was in high school, because I was always having to defend the Yu-Gi-Oh dub, there was like this interview that Dan <clears throat> Green did at a convention that they released as a podcast. And it was just like so interesting to me, like all the insight about like why they do all the things that they do <laughs> in like in the Yu-Gi-Oh dub, but in general. Yeah, yeah. It's cool stuff. Yeah. I feel like the only downside to meeting people that work on the things you enjoy is that then you're forced to realize that they're just they're just people like in a really normal way. Yeah. It's like, damn, I thought you were like magical. <laughs> Turns out you're just like a person who does all the normal stuff. It's messed up. Yeah. I love to hang out with said friend. He's just so goddamn normal. <laughs> yeah, it actually ruins my life because... Uh, I have a few friends that are in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and like I cannot listen to it in English because <laughs> I'm just like, ugh, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. Yeah, I don't want to hear this. Get out of here. <laughs> I can't take you seriously. <laughs> You're not this character. Yeah. Quit lying. Voice actors are liars if you think about it. Because they're all pretending to be someone they're not. If you think about it, all actors are liars. 
Is anyone that's thinking about it? That's deep shit, Jason. Were you thinking about it too much? Yeah, I got lost in thought. <laughs> <laughs> this bit happened a year ago, Jacob. Yeah, because I'm still maintaining my position. It's not a bit. It's a belief. It's, it's a, a firm belief. A, yeah, it's a firmly held belief. <laughs> I'm going to say it again next year, too, and I'll see if my position has changed. But yeah, that's the reason I've I, I've actually never watched Dirty Paws. I've watched it once in its entirety since I first finished it, uh, and it had its first showing. I have watched it once to do time code for subtitling of it and never again because I cannot fucking listen to the voice track because those are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> and it like, it's so cringe to me. <laughs> do you do you have the same issue with listening back to Droffy stuff or is it different? Surprisingly different. I love listening back to Droffy stuff because I never remember what we say. Yeah, um, same. Uh, and it it's it's a lot more genuine. Uh, rather than like, you know, acting. Yeah, that's definitely true. I guess so. off the cuff feels a little. Yeah. It's not the same vibe. Yeah. Uh, really, what Al said really said this looks Thank like you. the wall art for a very trendy restaurant. <laughs> also, hi yeah. Al. Hi Al. <laughs> I saw you did a new thingy. I haven't looked. I was out running errands. Woo. Oh, yeah. Did you, I watch, saw did you it. watch it? I saw it. It is. Here it comes. Here's the review. Al, are you ready? <gasps> Julia's about to put you on blast. Well, you know, I got to say. Here it comes. It's good. Wow. There it is. I like it. There it is. It was fun. <laughs> I watched the new Deep Blue Ink today as well. Oh, I haven't watched any of this shit. I haven't the, watched that one either. The Snilk one. Oh, I haven't seen that one. It's, it's very good. It was really fun to revisit that whole bit. That was a really fun stream with Brennan. God, I like barely remember that. I don't. I wasn't there for that bit, right? You weren't there because it was. It was one of our like uh, nighttime streams. Yes. When that was like not what we usually did. And it was because we had to stay at the new. office late yeah. in order to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like you want to be at the office from ten a.m. to nine p.m. Right. And a lot of us said, okay. <laughs> no, I said, I will do it if I can come in at five. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That was like the agreement, but it didn't always pan out the that way. The first <laughs> time we did it, it did not pan out that way. But I took any shortcuts I could get. Yeah, I remember when Promare was in theaters, like, because one of the theaters was really close to the office. So I would just like go watch it and then go into work like late in the day. I was like, what? I got a stream. Buy me dinner. <laughs> I'm going to watch I'm a movie. The and then I'm yeah. going to eat dinner that you buy me. Yeah. And then Fuck I'm going to stream. <laughs> <laughs> now the company still buys you dinner, but we are the company. Yeah. So we're just we're just buying our own dinner. We're buying our own very dinner. indirectly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is a fun drawing, Julia. Yeah. Thank you. I had fun. I'm glad. You better fill in the black space between that cat's legs, though. Thank you. Wow. You're welcome. Did we watch the Arlo Sterling animatic with the no control Goofy? Yes. Yeah. That one was so good. <laughs> I feel like Arlo really put his whole ass into that one <laughs> like there was so much animation in it yeah animation is stored in the ass yeah where else would it be i don't know that's why my ass is so fat <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, <laughs> I feel like all work is stored in the ass because that's why you can half-ass something. <laughs> I would so, love if you went for a job interview and the, the person who's interviewing you is like trying to take sneaky glances at your ass to see how much work you can get. How then. much juice you yeah. got in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> It's animating. We still need to do an animation challenge. It's just like too fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, it's been on our list forever. And the only reason we haven't done it is because I know it's going to take like multiple weeks of time <laughs> to do. Like, I don't think we can do it like a normal speed draw. Uh, Spencer did his in four hours. Spencer's a professional animator. <laughs> It's probably going to take a little more <laughs> trial and error on my end than it would for Spencer. Uh, just make the lines move. Just Shit. do the weight. <laughs> Damn, you're right. I forgot I could just make the lines move. Yeah, just move the drawing. Can you make the sausage wink at the little boy? <laughs> <laughs> Deep Blue Ink said all fan animator episode. That would be fun to do something yeah. with like the fan animators. Yeah, you all are pitted against each other and you have to pretend to be us. You have to stay in character. Yeah. Deep Blue Ink, you have to be me. I'm sorry. As my enemy, you know me the best. <laughs> These, this ghost, ghost, ghost. Yeah. Ghost, ghost, ghost. Oh, I like all of them. Tag yourself. I didn't finish this one. Is that an Among Us? I don't know what you're talking about. Is that an Among Us? What? <laughs> oh, I can't hear you. Dibba the Among Us? Dibba the Among Us? Dibba the Among Us? Dibba the Among Us? I'm done. Yeah. yeah. What if Karina draws now? What if? That would be crazy. Okay, yes. Let's let's try it out and see how it goes. Maybe it'll be cool. I don't know. Maybe it'll suck ass. Probably. We'll be, <laughs> we'll be pissed off. What should I draw? I don't want it to be like this. I want it to be the other way. There we go. Like that. Y there. Yugi has Splatoon characters. That would be so cute. That is very cute. Do that. I want to do that. I want to see that. I, I was talking with one of my friends about how like Splatoon is the absolute not the game I like at all. Like I, I do not care much for what it, it's like what first for whatever the fuck kind of game it's that is. It's a third person shooter. Third person <laughs> yeah. shooter. Um, but I love the art of Splatoon. The aesthetic of Splatoon is perfect. The yeah, actual game itself, I'm not really that interested in, sadly. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I'm, I'm with you as well. I, I really love how it looks. And I played Splatoon 2 a good bit solely for collecting outfits. Yeah. Yeah. Like my only mission was to play so I could get squid bucks and buy cool pants. But I don't actually like playing to get the squid bucks. <laughs> <laughs> if it were on PC, I would probably enjoy it. I just hate playing shooters on the Switch. I also, like, I didn't love Splatoon that much, and I don't know why. I love the aesthetic. I love the music. I love everything about it. I just don't like playing it. And I wish I could blame that on like the fact that it's like a online because I don't play a lot of online games, but I do play a lot of Overwatch and that is online. So I don't yeah. know what my deal is. It's not only online, right? It's got a single player mode as well. Yeah, but, but it's like mostly. Yeah, it's mostly online competitive. Moostly. Yeah, but I love the art of it. What is life if not doing jobs we don't enjoy to buy cute pants? That's actually really accurate. L element. <laughs> but, but that's not what I want in my video games. <laughs> I want escapism. With that being I say said, as I exclusively play pet sims. I was about and life to say. 
playing Animal Crossing to pay off home loan. And yeah. buy cute outfits. Yeah, shit clip. Uh, <laughs> That's what I'm playing. Digimon Survive to experience mental illness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm most excited about the the new Pokemon games for buying outfits too. Oh shit! I keep forgetting those are happening because they haven't shown us the goddamn evolution lines for the starters yet. But the new gameplay stuff, I'm I'm liking. It looks fun. I only care about cute monsters. <laughs> I'm excited about the new Silent Hills. Game the Silent Hills. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Silent Hills is the Silent, Silent Hills is. That's what they should have called the sequel. <laughs> Silent Hills is. Uh, no, I've been calling Silent Hill F, Silent Hill Pay Your Respects. Uh, I'm really excited for Silent Hill Pay Your Respects because it looks beautiful. <laughs> uh, but it, uh, yeah, I guess I want to feel uh, upset with a concrete reason. Or upset for an abstract, concrete reason, as opposed to a very, <laughs> very I can point to a thing reason. Yeah. And it's the news. Make me more upset. Yeah. And then when I stop playing, I'm like, wow, at least I'm not full of holes and my face come off. Yeah. <laughs> I have become plant. Could be worse. Could be worse. <laughs> I did see that they're re uh, porting another one of the old Digimon RPGs. So, oh, which one? Uh, Digimon uh, World? Uh, no, no, like like a newer one. Oh, it is a Digimon World game, I think, but it's like the like for the PS Vita. <laughs> hey, or something. So that's always fun. I've never played a Digimon World game. Can my phone, please? Why? We're expecting a package. Oh, yeah? We ordered some medicine for Olive. She Aww. has a little a little cut on her arm. Aw, poor baby. She keeps picking at it and making it worse. Yeah. <laughs> poor idiot. Yeah. She loves to do that. She do. So we bought medicine so that it'll both clean it and taste bad so that she stops picking. Or else we'll have to put her back in the orange slice. <laughs> You're going to look so stupid. We won't hesitate to do it. I have to go blow my nose. I'll be she back. She does look so cute in the oh. orange slice. Oh, my God. It's girls night again. Oh, my God. Ladies night. <laughs> <laughs> what mundane thing should we talk about now? Well, I am talking about Your my cat cats. being cute. My cat being cute and having a little leggy cut. Yeah. I think I she to... just had dry skin and was picking at it. Poor baby. Yeah. I got to meet a very cute Lola cat today. Old Ooh. cat, no teeth. Oh. So sweet. Adorable. Where was he at? Like a bodega or something? Uh, it was at my friend's place that I oh, was okay. like dropping stuff off. Oh. So, I was... love old animals. They make me so sad, but yeah, I love them so much. She was so nice and she liked having her cheekies rubbed just like your cats. Yeah. My like, cat I'm good at this. <laughs> our cats were were out last night and I was very surprised. I have realized that Olive's scared. <laughs> Olive's very strict with her rules. Uh mm -hmm. one of the rules is that you have to have your knees covered. <laughs> yeah. If she nope. sits in your lap, you can't wear shorts. <laughs> She will slut shame you. She will. But one of her other rules that we just realized is that she doesn't like when people wear shoes in the apartment because Jacob and I don't wear shoes in the apartment. And typically we ask people to take them off. But like yeah. some people, I just don't bother asking that of them. And uh, so yesterday, since my family was just over for a couple of minutes, we didn't like ask them to take off their shoes. And Olive was terrified. Yeah, like, what are those? <laughs> yeah. Why are your feet so loud? Yeah, why do they look like that? You're so fucked up. <laughs> Gross. All is all about the toes, apparently. Damn, freak. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Joy was out, too, but Joy is always out. Joy was immediately into my mom's lap. 
And then Olive was in my dad's lap, which I was very surprised about. Because yeah. my dad exudes, I don't know how to pet a thing if it's not a dog energy. <laughs> it's a good cat. Takes a pet like it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, what are you eating? Oh, what? Jacob's parents uh, sent us a, a very nice package oh. of sweets and of champagne. Oh, nice! And things like that, and we've been picking out the sweets. Wow. My parents are sending me a package for Thanksgiving for me and my friends to eat. Is it going to be way too much meat again? Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. I think I think they're throwing in some jerky for the jerky boys. Jerky boys. That's, That's me and Nathan. You. Yeah. <laughs> We're the jerky boys. And uh, it's just very funny to me because one of my friends, um, he... <laughs> when we were in college, my parents, because they always order from the smokehouse in Texas, and they sent me some from them. And uh, my friend like showed up at my dorm one day and just like, I was like, do you want this smoked cheese? And he like remembers that so clearly. <laughs> so he, he always like brings it up uh, apropos of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like, remember that time we were at the dorm and we like, ate a bunch of your smoked cheese that was so good and so i told my mom so now she knows him as my friend who likes cheese or cheese boy <laughs> <laughs> little so, mouse friend yeah so she's just like i'll send cheese for your friend who likes cheese i'm like yeah you hear that buddy you're getting your cheese <laughs> don't you love how you can just like become a type of person to someone yeah. that you don't know that well because of like one thing. Yeah, yeah, that's literally our entire existence online, Jacob, at least me personally. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was mine, too, and still is. Yeah, we each have like at least two things. That's just our things, according to the Internet. And we talk about it all the time and we're going to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Everybody is one dimensional. Yeah. We only have one aspect. We are all but one thing on the internet. Yeah. And you don't get to pick what your thing is going to be. No. You get yeah, assigned. The internet picks it for you. Yeah. It's a government assigned thing. I got assigned uh, grotesque horror anim uh, uh, art on Twitter and people uh, tag me in it a lot and it's not something I love to look at. <laughs> <laughs> I like to draw it because I think it's funny, but it's not like my go-to thing. And uh, sometimes I open Twitter and I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I, wow, got, I gotta go. <laughs> oh no. Some of the stuff I get tagged in, because like people are relentless in their tagging. So I get tagged in stuff on Tumblr too. And I just like look at it sometimes and I'm like, why though? <laughs> <laughs> what does this have to do with me? Which of my interests does this represent? But usually it's just like Sonic or and I'm just like, you know, you know, a lot of people like Sonic. I don't even like Sonic that much. I just sometimes, draw it because it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, I just noticed someone actually used a very good gif of our cats uh, to respond to my tweet from yesterday and it's making me <laughs> laugh some people really do send me things that are very nice though and very yeah. fun I love being tagged in fan art oh my god same but yeah whenever I see someone tweet shit. when they tweet at all of us but not Karina and they're like, because I don't want to get banned, but it's like fan art. I'm like, no, this is the no. thing you should tag Karina in. Yeah. yeah I'm just like, I, I hate that that has also mm. become my thing, that, that I will block people on Twitter. And I'm just like, that's not, it's just something I have to do sometimes. I don't enjoy it either, but like. It's become all of our thing now. Can yeah. you show Karina? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like you know usually it's harmless but like yeah. when uh, Kazuki Takahashi died people would like tag me 
in like tweets about how he passed away. And I'm like, I feel like this is kind of rude. Like it's kind of insulting to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, can you just leave me alone and like be normal, please? Thank you. <laughs> the answer is no. That's true. <laughs> I feel like my I I like don't tweet. I don't tweet. He doesn't he don't he don't tweet. <laughs> You're the smartest among us. Yeah. I've stopped <laughs> tweeting almost entirely. But I also have now like a one strike policy. Which is that if you, if I go on Twitter and you're the person who said something that has made my day a little worse, it's an insta block or mute. <laughs> if, if you're on my timeline and you, I see your tweet and it makes my day even marginally worse, I mute you. And if you've yeah. tweeted at me and made my day marginally worse, then I block you because I want you to know. Yeah. I am at the age where if you, tweet something stupid at me i'm like that i don't need to interact with you anymore and you don't need to interact with me it's fine yeah because i always unblock people after a while but if i notice they keep doing it i'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> i'll remember now <laughs> but now that twitter has that thing where you can like leave conversations I i'm mm. a little more lenient i'll just like untag myself and then mute the person and just yeah. Hope that maybe they leave me alone. <laughs> Miss Miss Nomer said I should go on Tumblr instead. It's objectively better. People I've thought tag about me and it. Shit on Tumblr too. I've thought about returning to Tumblr for like my scrolling needs. Yeah. But I'm back on Tumblr a little bit, very vaguely. I'm actually not like on social, except for like a private Instagram. Um, yeah, I, I've been doing less and less on socials. Once Twitter yeah. tanks, like I'm not joining a new social media. I'm just going to like start a web ring. <laughs> We're bringing back web rings. Y'all on in? Yes. <laughs> Put me in, coach. I'm ready to join the web ring. Yay. <laughs> yeah, no more interacting with me online. You're going to just see whatever dumb shit I post on my website vlog and um uh that's it that's all you get <laughs> did you guys see the post that was like and i don't know how true this was that twitter is thinking about letting you add a song to your twitter no oh, what the profile. fuck is this zanga <laughs> yeah this is a uh, myspace how am I going to decide what anime opening to autoplay when people <laughs> visit my Twitter? Mine's going to be like a MIDI. <laughs> it's going to be like MIDI Inuyasha theme. Yo! <laughs> I can finally put my favorite Avenged Sevenfold song back on my profile. <laughs> I was put, never... Huh? I'm going to put DDR's, what is it, Butterfly? Yo! <laughs> 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 go ahead Karina um, I was never on MySpace somehow I like missed that one but I was on Zanga a lot I was on Zanga and as well I'm trying to think like what were some of my like autoplay songs on Zanga I know at least one of time it was one of the One Piece openings way back mm -hmm. <laughs> but i like didn't watch one piece in japanese i just like i found the song on gendo's anime music <laughs> y'all remember that no <laughs> it was like an anime they had like all the anime music and it was just direct download <laughs> damn gendo gendo shinji's dad did one good thing <laughs> Oh shit! I this will fight the angels and list all anime intros for direct download. <laughs> but yeah, I just found it and I was like, "This slaps!" So I made it like my autoplay song, and I was like so unique amongst my classmates because I was the only one with fucking Japanese music. And it wasn't easy being a weeaboo <laughs> when we were young. <laughs> yeah, it was a different time. Yeah, it was not socially acceptable. <laughs> no. And we had so little to work with that it was only more difficult to make it socially acceptable. <laughs> yeah. And look at us now. 
Every, yeah. Freaking everyone's got a Goku shirt. Yeah. Now I'm married to Potetsu Kaburagi. And people say congratulations. Yeah. Instead of what the say... fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kotetsu what? <laughs> yeah, now my dad uh, watches anime sometimes instead of roasting me <laughs> for drawing anime. <laughs> My dad yesterday, um, he was asking like how uh, business is going and, and things like that. And we had to explain to him uh, Anime NYC. <laughs> and I think the funniest part was that like Jacob was explaining Anime NYC and what it is. Because my dad doesn't really truly understand what we do, despite the fact that he was at a live show at New York City Comic Con where he watched us <laughs> with my mom. Yeah. Like how? <laughs> I don't know. But that's such dad. Jacob was explaining anime and YC and Jacob said anime and then explained what anime was. And my dad was just like, oh, no, I know that one. Like I could see on his face. He was like, I remember. Well, when I said anime, <laughs> oh, yeah. he looked at me like he had didn't know what that word meant. That was why I continued to explain. Yeah. No, he knows anime. <laughs> opposite energy of when I was explaining to my dad about how I knew one uh, Alice Cooper song uh, Poison and I was like well you see there's this thing called Nightcore and he's like I know what Nightcore is <laughs> <laughs> I'm like my dad would not know that <laughs> okay fucking nerd ass <laughs> I feel like what I keep thinking about is if if we ever have a child, yeah, that child's gonna grow up in a freaking nerd palace because of the two of us, or because, because of, of the like two the of general... us. Yeah, that's true. It'll if our like... kid is into sports, we're doomed. I yeah, mean, that'll be do? that'll be fine. It's just like I'm thinking about you know when I was a kid. Yeah, and like my parents didn't know what the hell I was doing at any given moment with video games and the internet and what I was watching and listening to. Yeah. I feel like we're going to be way too aware. Yeah. Of all the shit. I feel like we, our interests are so like varied, the two of us, that we kind of got all of them covered. As long as it's not baseball. <laughs> as long as it's not There's baseball. There's one thing we forbid. It's baseball. And it's baseball because I don't want to watch a full baseball game. I want to go. Your baseball yeah. game is too long. They also said Kaiba, so I'm gonna do Kaiba. But if they're like into soccer, I'd be down. <laughs> you can do soccer. I can do you that. Know soccer. I can do that. I can do yeah. that sport. I am very interested, uh, as I am starting to have friends. You know, if we're going to have kids. I'm just like, as the designated, like, <laughs> rich Tita, <laughs> rich single Tita, <laughs> who will just roll in and give gift. I'm just like, oh, God, we're all like fucking nerds. How is this going to like <laughs> turn out? Yeah, what's going to happen to these kids? Yeah, I'm just like, oh, my God, what if I have to babysit at my place and they're going to like see all my shit? <laughs> I mean, they, they're going to think they're in heaven. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> there are times when I'm just like, I look around at my apartment and I'm just like, it's kind of like a fucking child decorated, <laughs> but like a cool kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> well, I think about that with my, I have a niece uh, and she has a lot of interests, but like if Jacob and I ever need to like babysit her, we're going to be like, so you want to... You want a game? You want a game? You want to do some gaming? You want to do some gaming? Do you like gaming? <laughs> they did bring her to um, this. What was it? Was it like a zoo? Is that what it was? Huh? It was like a zoo thing. And uh, we just got a bunch of pictures. And the the keepers brought out like all the animals for her to, to touch. Because she's really cute. And she's very smart and like very gentle. Aww. So she was like petting all of them. She was interested in every single one. She wanted to pet the snakes. She pet a gerbil. 
My sister-in-law wouldn't let her pet a cockroach. Uh, yeah. Even though she wanted to. That's some dark-sided stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you teach her to be afraid of those things. Yeah. They were like pulling out the snake. And, um, you know, my sister-in-law is like trying to take a picture while also like watching her because it's not like the keeper's jobs to watch this baby and this animal. Um, so she's like trying to make sure that you know, the baby's not like putting her fingers and like the eyes or the mouth or something. And she went to go like pet the snake's head and the zookeeper was like, no, no. And they just had to like move her hand to the body and she like got it very quickly. Um, but then they pulled out the cockroach and she was like, maybe not at all. Maybe, maybe no, no to the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. Her new thing apparently is that um like she had a like a kid at daycare or something or wherever they were or like the kid pushed her and she like didn't understand someone trying to like hurt her. So mm -hmm. she she just kept following him and staring at him like what the hell was that? <laughs> and every time he would like run away, she would just like follow him and be like just stare right into his face like it's a powerful response. Damn. Explain. It was very That's funny. Girl boss shit. Yeah. Karina, these drawings are really good. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah, this is great. I feel like this is like clean up and post on the internet worthy. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I haven't been posting enough art. Like, post yeah, this look. one. Shit. That's art. Baby. Damn. I think deep down I've just always wanted to draw like Splatoon style. I just love it. I just it's don't want to play style. the freaking games. You don't yeah. have hard. to play the game. The I love style of it. I never mm -hmm. played Overwatch and I'll never yeah. play Splatoon. <laughs> it never stopped you from drawing Mikanzo. Yeah, so true. Or Cassidonzo. Cassidonzo. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a knockoff Casanova. He's not, he's like kind of drunk. Yeah. Hey. Casadonzo. Casadonzo. Please take me seriously. <laughs> oh, apparently people are calling it whole. Well, the, the actual fandom name for it is Yihan. Yihan. Yeah. But the but meme name for it is Hole. Everyone in chat is saying Hole. I don't understand. Hanzo and Cole. Hole. Cole. That's his first name? What? Yeah, Cole Cassidy. What? <laughs> did you miss this? I did. You play Overwatch. I thought his name was like Cher where he had one. He had one he name. His name was just Cassidy. I thought it was Cassidy. No, he has a first name too. He had a first name with the old name too. Mm. Yeah. Why would he not have a first name now? Uh -huh. <laughs> he just rocked Julia's world. <laughs> Does it only list him as Cassidy in the game? Well, they all yeah. only call them like by one. Oh. The one, like Farah or Mercy or... Yeah, <laughs> spoken like a person who's truly never played Overwatch. <laughs> Moira. Does Moira have another name? I assume they Probably. all have full names. Does Winston have a full name? Oh Winston, my God. it probably doesn't because he, he monkey. <laughs> he can have a full name. Monkey don't get full name. Please look it up. What's what's Moira's last name? Moira Odirin. Okay. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's what it kind of looks like. His name is Winston Overwatch. Yeah, like oh, that's so Droffy. true. That's so true. Yeah, we're all part of one family. There's Karina Droffy. <laughs> yeah. Julia yeah. Droffy, Jacob Droffy. Yeah, I think Winston's just Winston. Nathan's dead, so it doesn't matter what his last name is now. Uh, His last name is is dead. <laughs> Nathan is dead. Karina's figuring out hands. Oh, you're trying to do Kaiba hand, huh? 
Yeah, Which, I hate that I kind of generally remember what Kaiba Hand looks like. Oh, chat, you're right. My name is Mrs. Julia Droffy now. Yeah, distinction. I'm a Mrs. now. Yeah, you are, you yeah. old bag. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I called my grandparents this morning on the way to the grocery store, and my uh -huh. mom was like, oh, my, my grandma goes, you're married now. You're old. <laughs> I was like, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Grandma. It's very funny. <laughs> when I was getting my hair cut at the barber shop down the street, the woman was like very pregnant. Mm -hmm. And we came we came to discover that we were both thirty three. Okay. And like I was telling her that I was getting married and she was like, oh, I'm having my baby like next month. Oh and um, we we're talking about like having kids. And mm -hmm. when she found out that we were both 33, she was like, oh, you need to do it now. Mm -hmm. She's like, you got to do it soon. Yeah. Go, go. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> right now. <laughs> They're like all like Ukrainian or something in there. They all have like thick accents. That's yeah. So funny. <laughs> I, I was love like, them. damn, I guess. They're great. I guess we have to do it now. Yeah. Have you done it yet? <laughs> no. I mean, I. Now I'm scared. Uh, yeah, you There's should. There's a cat. Be. We we have two children, and they're both cats. So true. Itty bitty babies. One of my friends is uh preg pregnant, and um, <laughs> I I was telling Spencer, uh, since you know we're all we're all buddies from college and he was just like that can't be true she's like 19 <laughs> <laughs> we are the same age all of us <laughs> one time one of my brother's friends asked him how old i was and he was like i don't know i think she's like 17 and i was like 24 that's like me with lauren's brother because in my mind he'll always be 14 He's like 23. <laughs> but this is my own brother. Not my friend's brother. My own brother. <laughs> Fair. Have you gotten to age since then? Are you in your 30s yet to your brother? Well, I mean, it's not like the math is hard. He's like three and a half years older than me. Yeah. Like yeah. He's not doing the math. No. You just gotta... I mean, it's how I figure out his age every time. Yeah, I forget my brother's age, but I, as long as I know my own age, I can I can get there. I know it. <laughs> yeah. If I start losing track of how old I am, I'm doomed. Yeah. It's Run the equations. <laughs> but don't do the Sherlock Mind Palace, because that gets us demonetized <laughs> gets now. Us fucking... <laughs> Thanks, BBC. We, we lost monetization for an entire Droppy video because of like 20 seconds animated, of GIF. animated GIF of Sherlock doing the Mind Palace. It was, yeah, because you said that. I, I I don't fucking remember why I wasn't super paying attention, but like it wasn't even the audio. It was the GIF. It was just the GIF. It was just the GIF. I hate it here. Yeah. yeah. And, How stupid and BBC that? copyright claimed us for the entire episode because of twenty so seconds worth of a loop. Stupid. They're like, we own all of this now because yeah. you, you showed Sherlock's face. We for had 20 a seconds. little yeah. bit of you our idiot. thing in your <laughs> like. We had twenty seconds in your forty-five minute video, so that means this is our content now. Yeah, we're, we're disputing that, right? Uh, I don't, I don't know if we can because technically Shit. it is their content. <laughs> so like I don't I can't say they're wrong. It's just wild that they get to claim a yeah. whole can they 45 just have, minute video. <laughs> can they just have that part of the video? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can get whatever the, this 20 seconds makes. Yeah, whatever this 20 second gets you, that's yours. <laughs> I hate it here. So stupid. Can you repost without the gif? Yeah, we could, but we would lose all the views. Yeah, it's a, not, it's entire... not a recent episode, so we already made most of the money from it that we're going to make from it, so I don't really care that much. Just lessons for the future, even yeah. though we 
we're technically transformative and addressing the image on the screen, which is uh, part of the rules, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I can't fight the BBC. We're five yeah. people. We're just silly. <laughs> What are you going to do, BBC? Hit us? But we're so small. <laughs> <laughs> you going to hit a little birthday boy? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, I love this. They're fun to draw. Everyone should draw Splatoon even if you don't play it. <laughs> Go ahead. Are you drawing yeah. first or should I? Oh, you can draw since you're sitting there. Yeah. Okay, take it. What should I draw, y'all? Take it away. Oh my God, where am I? Here I am. You should click on Clip Studio. Thank you. Please. Me. Ah! Swamp thing. You make my heart sing. Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse. Cozy skeletons. Yeah. Cozy dozy <laughs> skeletons. You said yes, I want to draw skeletons today. But cozy what? skeletons, so that means blankets. Yeah, they're gonna be covered in sweaters ah, and blankets and so stuff. True. The sweaters are their skin. Eugene Halloween costume that already exists. That's true. He is Kermit. 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 I did go to Target earlier to pick up stuff for aforementioned friend who threw her back. Mm -hmm. And they all of their Halloween stuff is already on sale, already on clearance because wow. it's Crimbus already. Of course. Here. And they did just have full skeletons, like 30% off. Nice. <laughs> and I was like, if I were a more unhinged person who did not care. <laughs> You could get but, those cheap skellies. But I do care, so no skelly. But maybe next year you won't care. You never, I care you never a know. I care a little too much about my space usage. So I don't have a good spot for a skeleton where it wouldn't be in the way. But next year, maybe you will. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> no just think about it a little bit that's fully untrue you don't know that <laughs> they're going by filipino time for christmas yeah it'll only be a matter of time before they're fully on the same schedule <laughs> christmas times people start celebrating in september in the philippines really yeah <laughs> damn they're wild over there I mean, it's not that much different from here at this point. Yeah, yeah. we're very much on that track. But I feel like people <laughs> don't start like really celebrating it. They just start putting shit out. We hear we hear the bass first rumbling through the floors and then slowly <laughs> seeping through the windows comes Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You and then you yeah. know <laughs> the then Christmas you know. season is upon you. It does feel like Thanksgiving is like everyone kind of looks forward to Thanksgiving a little bit because Thanksgiving food is typically, you know, delicious. Yeah. But then like by the time it rolls up, it feels like everyone's just ready to throw it into the trash to get to the Christmas time stuff. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we need to really stop and enjoy each one. And why, we need to spread them out more is what I think. Christmas is being yeah. moved to like February. Because truly like, because we're doing anime NYC. And like once that hits, it's like over for the whole year for me. Yeah. It's just we're, thing we're after thing after that. It's really stressful. <laughs> yeah. Like it's a wonderful time, but I'm also just like, oh my God, I literally have something at every like moment yeah. once anime NYC happens. So ah 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 anime nyc will be fun though i'm so excited i can't wait to see like cosplay yeah that's always my favorite bit i want to go around and see the art 
Yeah, we'll have to be sure to like sneak off to like see. Yeah, it's something I was going to message everyone once everyone's well <laughs> and not dead. Yeah, not fucking once dead Nathan all the time. Nathan resurrects from the grave. But um yeah, I'm really excited for that. I saw that they were going to have some of the studio trigger people at Anime NYC. Oh, really? Yeah. You going to go make friends with them? Yeah, let's get them on the show. Let's get them on the show. I have not been keeping track of like who all is coming. Uh, Who's coming? I like what the guest list is. I'm like, we're going. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> well, we already know we'll be there, so yeah, we can figure out who's there once we're there. Where we're gonna be? But I did see Studio Trigger announce something. Anime NYC. Why do you retweet so much shit? <laughs> Trying to see. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh... Little beanie skelly. Beanie skelly. Beanie skelly. <sighs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I woke up, went to the grocery store, or I woke up, had breakfast, went to the grocery store, came back, had lunch, fell asleep. Now I'm doing the stream. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, Sushio, uh, Shigeto Koyama, and Hiromi Wakabayashi. I only know uh, Sushio by name. <laughs> but yeah. Karina Beth Eleanor said that they're working on their Rose season two <gasps> cosplay. What? Are you, are you bringing that shit to Anime NYC? <laughs> So that wait. we can anime NYC it. Oh, <laughs> got him! <laughs> Every time ho, ho, ho. someone cosplays as something drawfy, yeah. I like lose my mind a little bit. Like the events we've done so far have been super awesome, but like you don't really get to see cosplay at Mocha, and like. People did cosplay to the Seattle shows, but you know, it's still like, it's a show and not like a convention. Uh, someone made this awesome costume of uh, cheese. Yeah, oh my God, was, yes. Uh, yeah, someone actually made like the outfit that I did for cheese in that one episode. And I was like, what? No fucking way. Yeah, it was so really that was good really, too. Yeah, yeah, it was really exciting. Yeah, they did such a good job, oh my gosh. But, uh, I, I love seeing people's cosplay. It's my favorite part about doing like any anime convention. It's just so fun. Yeah, it's and then really I get to fun. take pictures and send them to my mom, and she'll say something really cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone needs to cosplay as me. As Jacob, real person. As Jacob, real person. I want to see all your best Jacob, real person cosplays, please. I'm sorry, but like all all the all you gotta do is be like a white guy, and I'd be like, "Whoa, are you Jacob?" I know it could be anyone. Are you Jacob <laughs> or Mark? It's one of the easiest cosplays to do if you're a white guy. <laughs> 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 yeah, because we know you have so few options. If you're not a white guy, then I encourage you even more to cosplay as Jacob. Cause that's like challenge mode. <laughs> Julia, this is cute. Thank you. You're gonna come dressed as the fool. How dare you? <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, we are saying like, yeah, people, people have like their one thing for us and you know some sometimes it's not it's not the most flattering thing and then i feel <laughs> bad that i made fun of jacob about it because now everyone does it and it's not fun when your friend it's not your friends doing it 
but it fool. is very funny to me that the fool is like also deeply associated with Jacob. the fool was like cosmically done to me yeah yeah and like i didn't do that i, I was referring i was referring to the other thing but yeah. like the fool one is very funny to me <laughs> yeah the fool is funny to me too because that one was handed to it it couldn't have been more perfect <laughs> i'm grateful to the fool for that moment that it gave us in that episode it was so good This is a fun, cozy drawing, Julia. Yeah, I Thank looks you. like a sleepover. Yeah. It's the ones like the two in blankets and then the one who's just still fully fully dressed. Fully dressed. Fully dressed. It just showed up. <laughs> I'm late. <laughs> it reminds me of sleepovers I would go to with friends where they would have like the whole basement of their house for like sleepovers. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. the parents didn't have any idea what we were up to. Shit. And we would go out in like the middle of the night at like 3 a.m. to like walk to the gas station and buy a bunch of energy drinks and beef jerky oh and gosh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it felt so like illicit. So we were like, we're sneaking out and we're going to the gas station. Damn. And Can't we're going to come back and eat a bunch of garbage at three in the morning. When I, uh, in Houston, you could walk for like 45 minutes and there's just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so did not have that luxury. <laughs> that was most of our, most of the places where we lived, you could not walk to anywhere. <laughs> but the occasional friend lived in walking distance to something. Ooh, so fancy. The ultimate luxury. Mine was that my brother would sometimes like knock on my door at two in the morning and be like, I'm going out with friends to the diner. You want to come? And I'd say, okay. And then I would just buy a bunch of waffles at 2 a.m. Oh, how fun. With my brother and his friends. And then so we'd fun. go home and go to bed. <laughs> sometimes my brother will hang out with me and my friends and i like that yeah <laughs> i think it's nice when when the brothers is cool yeah <laughs> when we one time like the summer before me and my friends started college we, we were bored so we saw that there was a billy joel tribute concert playing at the house of blues and we made our we made my brother drive us so he went with us to the fucking <laughs> billy joel tribute concert and we were like the youngest people there yeah i bet <laughs> we weren't even like 20 yet <laughs> i think maybe my brother was 20 so like even then so we all had to be like wristbanded because we couldn't drink amazing and we just went to the fucking show and then we went to whataburger at like midnight <laughs> that was so fun those are good times yeah now unfortunately as a 33 year old i no longer have the stamina to go to places at 2 a.m and eat food there no but i do miss it yeah I now miss we the hang vibe. out during the day <laughs> yeah now it's like how early can we get away with going to the restaurant so that we can beat the crowd there. Yeah. Yes. And then like be home by 8 p.m. Oh my God. One of the, like, I think last year on one of my trips home, uh, cause it's fucking Houston and everything is far from everything else. It's, the, it's too big of a city. So we were gonna like go pick up my friend who like lives far out to like, uh, <laughs> Because me and, and Lauren and our other friend from home, every night, every Friday, we like watch K-dramas together. So we were going to have it in person because we were all in Houston. And um, so we we're going to pick up my friend and like bring her over. But since she was kind of near an H Mart, we also picked up Korean fried chicken from there. I'm and that was just a such a fun time. <laughs> Korean fried chicken fucking slaps, dude. Yeah, it's delicious. And um. So that was just like so fun, but we were there was like so much driving because Houston is too big. But on the way to where my friend is, there's this one road that we would always pass called Bingle Road. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my god, it's Bingle Road. <laughs> I love Bingle Road. Yeah, Bingle Road, take me home. 
I think I've told <laughs> this on stream before and it's so specific that no one's going to know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I'm going to say it again anyway. Okay. Uh -huh. um, there's a there's a place in Georgia called Dunwoody, which is already <laughs> funny. You Dunwoody? But then me and my friends every year for a few years would drive from Georgia up to Virginia to go to a, a punk rock festival called Stay Sweet Fest. Aww. And every time, I don't remember even which state it's in, there's a different town along that route that's called Dinwiddy. And it just sounds like a fucked up version of Dunwoody. And so Dinwiddie would make us do like, first of all, it would just make us like lose our minds every time we pass Dinwiddie, sim <laughs> similar to Bingle Road. Yeah, that's us at Bingle Road. <laughs> but then it just became like sort of like the Maryland accent. Instead, it was the Dinwiddie accent where you're like, we're getting to Dinwiddie. <laughs> <laughs> like every, every vowel becomes like an I sound instead. <laughs> and I think about I Dinwiddie that. a lot. Yeah. Done Woody, more like did Woody. Exactly. It's a bingle Road, because then we just go, <laughs> we just start doing Bingle Road, take me home. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's fun sometimes being yeah. a, a teen to early 20 something. Yeah. Not most of the time, but sometimes. It has its moments. It has its moments look back on it fondly but it's also fun being 30 in different yeah. ways there is one streamer that I hate watch mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> who I will not speak his name but um, he like turned 40 and now his whole persona is like, I'm an old man. I turned 40. I'm an old gamer man. <laughs> and I'm just obsessed with it because 40 is not that old. It's not. He's like, my memory's bad. I'm 40 now. And I'm like, oh, oh boy. my God, you're so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it's like, you realize you're only going to get older from here. Like, yeah, you like, don't need to claim old 40's now. 40 not old. <laughs> That's still quite young, I think. I would be in the prime just, of my damn life at 40. It just cracks me up that that's like his new persona. That he's like, I turned 40 and now I'm 60. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm 40, I'm going to be killing it. I'm telling you right now. Oh, shit. You're going to see me at 40. You're going to be like, oh, my God. He's stronger than ever before. Yeah. How's he doing stop, it? Stop praying for my grandpa. He's getting too He's powerful. Getting, but I'm your grandpa and I'm 40. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even 30 yet. I'm looking forward to my 30s. I kind of have my shit down pat. I'm going to learn how to cook. I have plants. Yeah, I feel like you're you're going into the 30s. Strong. Like strong. Like you're getting all the stuff in order that in your 30s yeah. is going to be like your shit. Yeah. My 20s were my flop era. That's like <laughs> everyone. Least, yeah. At least like the like 2016 through 2018, she was flopping hard. <laughs> <laughs> like a fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's going well. I look forward to it. The 30s, like my, my 30s, I think is the happiest that I've been Yay. and the strongest i've ever felt hell yeah i love that for you it's it's pretty good that's gonna be me too it's good shit yeah good shit we're doing it we're doing we're it fucking doing it every time then... i see like 20 <laughs> early 20 somethings talking about dreading being 30 i'm like you don't even know listen brother you don't know what you're missing <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's good up here. That's why I only I can only believe that 40 is going to be even better. <laughs> when I turn 40, I'm going to pretend that I'm old and decrepit and stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I already do that. I already pretend I, I'm yeah. stupid. <laughs> Me too, but like I'm going to lean even harder into it. <laughs> 
Julia, this is so lovely. It's just a bunch of cozy friends. Yeah. The weather is starting to get cool here, dear audience. So Yeah, it's lovely. real nice fall days and, outside. Yeah. yeah. Have a cozy cozy friend time. That one's wearing a turtleneck, but he's got no rest of his body. There we go. Okay. Well, they're kind of scalies. <laughs> You're going to fill up this canvas too? Yeah, why not? That's, that's the Julia mood today is full canvas spreads. What about like, what's a cozy fish? Okay, I got it. <laughs> I'm very excited because I can finally wear that coat I got. Um, I got a really nice coat at a dry cleaner near me for $25. And I'm just like very thrilled about that. <laughs> nice. It's a nice ass coat. And it, it's like got no like rips or anything. It just, someone just never picked it up. So they were selling it and it was only $25. That's, that's great. A, that's a steal for a winter coat. Yeah, I mean, winter coats are like hundreds of dollars typically. Yeah. I looked up the brand and it does typically run around like 150 so. Yeah, deep discount. Yeah, I love it. I want to get a new winter coat Ooh. for this winter. I want to get a long one. Cover yeah. up them thighs. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, that's what I was excited with, the one that I got, because it's like kind of long. It has like hoodie top. Uh, but it's long. Oh. And it also has the two zipper thing, so I can zip it up all the way, but then unzip it so it's like open. But yeah. It's the top. So Love cool. the two zipper thing. Yeah, I'm trying to do that more. I've been wearing the same puffy winter coat from Uniqlo for like a really long time now, and it's okay. done a good job. But it, it ain't broke i tried julia's winter coat that she got mm -hmm. it's like a whole nother realm of winter coat Ooh, what kind is it uh i think it's a ll bean Ooh. it's made for basically temperatures that i don't think we really get <laughs> yeah. i don't know january happens but i am invincible but... in that thing <laughs> I did. Uh, Bo keeps telling me to get one of those like puffy, like the ones that you can wear inside the coat. Oh, they're like yeah. not oh, yeah. that thick. They're like they're very thin, but they're like thermal. Yeah, they got those know. at Uniqlo all the time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> from Uniqlo. <laughs> but it's called like heat tech or some shit. Like I've been in New York for like over ten years. Like I think I'm on year eleven. I still don't fucking know how to like deal with winter i learn a little bit more every year <laughs> layering yeah that's how the best has how best do it that's how the best do it that's how the best do it you want to be the best you gotta <laughs> you gotta layer like you the gotta best. layer like the best damn okay this is a big dog uh they're damn. like not in the same space they're just it's all just sitting around yeah, they just Oof. are. Well, because it looks like everything was in perspective oh. until the dog. And if the dog is in perspective, then it's slightly further back than the skeleton in the chair, and it's fucking huge. Which I also like. Ain't nothing wrong with it being huge. No, I like the huge dog. <laughs> but yeah. No, because winter's been different like every year I've been in New York, so I don't know how to fucking dress myself or deal with it. Yeah, that's true. I like true. kind of just learned sort of how to shovel snow last year. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that because I've always yeah, been in an apartment it's hard. where they do it for you. Yeah, I, I would have to do it sometimes at my old place, so which I don't mind doing. I just don't know like how to do it. <laughs> So many winters shoveling the snow here. Shoveling out your car and driveway only for the snow plow to come and plow it back into your driveway. It's a metaphor. 
That's life, baby. <laughs> My first winter I had here was the one where it like was like blizzards constantly and the snow was like piled so high. Oh jeez. It was the it was the most aggressive winter I've had since I lived in New York was the first one I had. So I was just like, I guess it's like this every year. And it was not <laughs> like that ever again. Never. Huh. Because I remember the first winter I was here, it was actually like pretty mild, but the first snow was at like the end of October, which was kind of freaky. And um, and I had like no idea what to do. <laughs> like I didn't have snowshoes. <laughs> So I, I I only had like Converse, so I, I, I like got oh, no. my feet all wet. Not even boots. <laughs> no, I didn't know. And like it was so early in the year, it doesn't usually snow this early. So um, yeah, so like that sucked. And I I would like was meeting up with my cousins for brunch, so I was just walking around in like all this slush and Converse and like my feet were starting to get numb and then i like got back to the dorm and just like put my feet up on the heater and fell asleep with the <laughs> heater on full blast which is the right choice and then and then after that like all of november was incredibly mild like the heat had turned on in our in the, in our dorm building so like it was just always hot we didn't have ac anymore but it was hot outside too. <laughs> Love that. So I'm just like, I I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening here. What is this? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and then after that, like, it was kind of normal, but we didn't have a blizzard until like I was a senior in college. So. <laughs> I wonder if that was when well no that wouldn't have made sense well maybe it would have when was your first winter uh I, I was i had just turned 25 so it was eight years ago june of eight years ago well that that was when i came here that wasn't when the winter was 15 or 16. Uh, it's 22 now, which means, why am I so fucking bad at math? <laughs> I'm not going to do it for you. <laughs> when you graduate college, you're 21. What's 22 minus eight? Four. Oh, 14? Yeah, that was the year then. 2014. Thank you. Yeah. That was the cause... blizzard year. Yeah, because we had one when... Uh, I lived in the Lower East Side. So that was my first winter here, was that one. Wow. It was Blizzard Central. Yeah, I don't remember how often it snowed, but I remember there was one big one. That was also when I was in like fucking thesis film hell so i don't remember a lot of things <laughs> but yeah it was a different time yeah jacob like you want to draw yeah. yeah julia this is lovely i love it this is such a fun tableau thank yes. you i got the skellies i got the ghosts yeah yeah it's ah, it's all good thank you Go under. What? Baldy. <laughs> Baldies don't go under. They go up. Damn. <laughs> What's Jacob draw? This is yours. What? Is that yours? What? Is that yours? What? Is it? What? 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 Huh? Huh? Where am I? I can't what? wait to order something delicious tonight. Yeah, I'm excited Ooh. about that too. Karina, are you ready for the rain? Huh? We're gonna get slammed by rain on Sunday and Monday. Oh, I didn't even fucking. Oh, cool. It's always when we're fucking getting together for recording. So glad. Yeah. Well, 
At least rain means we don't have to worry about my plants getting too much sunlight. That's true. Bleh. Nat okay. Schwartz said I once googled go up baldy because I thought it was a reference to something <laughs> imagine my surprise when only droppy came up it is a reference to something yeah like, and that yeah. something is the bible <laughs> the bible <laughs> It's from a Bible story. Like yeah, that's these, from Bible. These youths like told this guy to go up, Baldy, and he like prayed and had a bunch of bears come and kill the kids, I believe is the story. <laughs> yeah. Which guy was that? I had just some guy. It was just like Bald a guy. proverb or something. <laughs> Paddington Bear is the Grim Reaper. Draw detectives over the garden wall is very cute, but complicated. It's complicated, but can I? But I can do it. Yeah, you got twenty minutes. I got twenty minutes. I don't got to draw again. I did two draw character fellas. Leave me alone. What is okay? This is gonna take some thinking. Yeah, who would be which character? Would Eugene be Wirt? <laughs> Although I guess, I guess Eugene would be the, what's the one character who can't remember anything? Is that the bird? No. The horse? The bird can't remember any. No, the bird can. Who's, what's bird? <laughs> what's bird? What's bird? I, okay. I don't know any of these characters. Because <laughs> you refuse to come and watch it with us. I refuse. <sighs> You refused the one time that it yeah. was an option. I mean, to be fair, I have flaked on watching the garden wall with like friends at least three or four times. <laughs> what so what are you is, so afraid of? I was just like, I just was tired. <laughs> I didn't feel like going. Why are know, you afraid like, to love? I know, I know one time it was while we worked at College Humor and I was just like, I don't want to. So I just went home and ate my leftover Indian food. And you know what? I think that was the right choice. I mean, that's, it's honestly fair. I love yeah. flaking on things. Yeah. Especially during College Humor times. I never hung out with anyone after work because I commuted home and I would think about my commute home and go, no. Yeah. I go home was, now. That was me when I lived in Joyzee really killed my social life. But I mean, I, I just like never did anything after work. So it was like too hard. And that was actually kind of like something I realized uh, during 2020 is that um, I had never really explored the neighborhood that I, I lived in because I, I just like never went anywhere after work. Cause like we worked in Manhattan and then, you know, once we got out of work, it was dark and I just didn't have any energy. So I just like go home and like do nothing. <laughs> um, so I really didn't like get to check out all the cool stuff that I lived right next to until I was stuck in my neighborhood for two years. Yeah. And there was a lot of cool stuff. So I'm glad I eventually got to, but it, it just took me a long time because I just like never wanted to do anything after work. Yeah, I'm with you. Least of all, watch over the garden wall at someone else's apartment. Like that's hard. <laughs> I stayed at the office once to watch Highlander. <laughs> oh, and another time where we all played um, Until Dawn together. Those are the two times I stayed after work. It was fun, but also I under it, it was easy for me to get home from there. You didn't have a two hour one way commute home? Yeah. No, I just got on the train and it took me home. You don't have to walk half an hour to the train and then take the train home and then walk from that train station to your home. <laughs> No. She's really curled up. She looks like a squirrel. It's cute. Oh. I do not miss the big ass commute. No. It's so nice. So convenient. I love not commuting. 
But also, okay. I have to force myself to go out to walk ever. <laughs> Although we got yeah. an exercise bike, so that's been better. Oh, I'm so jealous. But... That's been really, I've been really enjoying the exercise bike. Yeah. We got one of those like fold up ones. Ooh. So we can tuck it into a little corner. Honestly, I'll have to check that out next time I'm over if that's okay. Yeah, yeah I'll show it to sure. you. It's uh, yeah. it's really handy. Yeah. I always liked doing the bike, but I also just don't want to have like a bike out all the time. Yeah. We don't have the room to have a bike out all the time. Yeah, same. We thought about combining like our little living room area with this room, but then it would be like a little too cramped. And I like having freedom of movement. Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to wait till we move. I was talking with my mom today and I was just like, I hadn't sent her pictures of my place in a while. So I was like giving her all the little updates and I'm mm. just like, I, I have really um, maximized as much storage as I can. <laughs> Um, one of my little things is, okay, so over there, that's my little like office seating area mm -hmm. for when I want to get away from the computer. Yeah. It looks like a little sectional because I saw someone do that on Korean apartment Instagram and I thought it was so cool. It's not a sectional, it's a storage ottoman. So all of my like oh. extra comforters and like blankets for winter are inside of there as well as the air mattress. That's smart. Yeah, it just looks like a sectional because I put a body pillow at the back to make it look like a couch. <laughs> um, but yeah, shit like that. <laughs> I'm very into home organization. <laughs> I got into home organization once I realized that we absolutely needed to solve for storage. Yeah. <laughs> I got these like little shelves that you assemble that go under your kitchen sink that Ooh. hold all your pots and pans so that because before it's like a really weird space where the door is like this and then it like goes out like it fans outwards so to get like the space is actually pretty big but then since it all funnels through one opening you can't yeah. get anything that's not immediately in front so Every time Jacob would cook, he would have to like take out every single pot and pan. Oh yeah. Oh my God. I was making miso salmon this week and this is the first time I've made it at this apartment. Mm -hmm. I don't have a broiler drawer anymore. Oh. I didn't realize that. Cause there's a drawer on my oven. Yeah. The broiler is the oven. The drawer's just storage and I didn't realize it. So I was like, Oh, I can actually just put my trays in here and it doesn't even get that hot. Huh. Weird. <laughs> I finally learned what a broiler was and then lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that just but, the way. Ain't that just the way. But yeah, no, my, my kitchen uh, layout that I've been doing, because I've been absolutely obsessed with Daiso since I moved. Um, and I'm always sneaking off over there, Avi. Mm. So uh, I've gotten very into wall grids. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I, I have like uh, two wall grids in my kitchen and all of my like uh, cooking utensil type stuff like, you know, spatula and uh, little grabbers and the measuring cups and the whisk, like all of it's hanging on the wall. So I don't have to like go digging for it. It's That's nice. Very... Yeah. And since I re i kept our old kitchen table um it has like a metal frame so i got like really strong magnetic hooks so i can hang all my pans under the table <laughs> oh my god hanging things means i don't have to put them in my cabinets <laughs> that's true i love it i love organizing my space it's i'm living my animal crossing dreams <laughs> my favorite thing is uh Spencer and I will just send us send each other pictures of like our apartments or like other things that we're up to and be like it's kind of like an Animal Crossing. <laughs> Damn, it's he kind of reminding me of Animal Crossing. He sent me a picture of his kitchen and was like, um, "My kitchen looks like it's from Animal Crossing." And I'm like, Spencer, that's just called owning home goods. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. 
but no, I get it. It's so fun. It is. I love. I love just. Jacob, this grandma is very cute. Yeah, this is very cute, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. The over the garden wall style is very it enjoyable. Fits you. There's a reason I find it so inspiring. Yeah. Because it appeals to my own sensibilities. And if you don't think that's the tightest shit, you I feel can get like the Rose fuck out of my be, face. Would be Beatrice. Yes, but I want to do. I don't want to do a bird. That's fair. <laughs> I need to find Beatri the Beatrice human form. Wow! Spoilers, guys. What horror movies do it's you been recommend? So many years. Well, it's that one we watched with Redacted. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, Taurus <laughs> Trap. Oh my god, with the best ending shot I've ever seen of any movie. Uh, I was I was floored by the ending. The ending <laughs> shot? really good. The overall ending. The ending shot was great, but like all of it. <laughs> the ending shot made me, like it, it broke something in my brain. <laughs> that one's so funny. Uh, but good horror yeah. movies. Uh, my my real answer is um, uh, uh, Gotta Stand Sensei, uh, Perfect Blue. If you want a mm. series, uh, Paranoia Agent. Those are my spookies. I feel like a fun one is uh, Conjuring. It's a fun horror movie. Uh, I love the original Scream. Ghost Files is fun. Jacob and I have been making our way through Ghost Files. Uh, I feel like I don't actually watch a lot of horror movies, sadly, but I do. There's this one YouTube channel that I, I am going to shout out mm -hmm. <laughs> with my whole ass. Uh, Spooky Rice. And... Okay. Uh, and this is great if you want to just kind of like get the gist of horror movies, but like not actually watch them. Uh, but uh, he does like disturbing movie breakdown. So he'll like cover all the like disturbing movies and, and shit that are like kind of infamous and stuff and scary. And but he's so funny. I, I really like his videos. So he hasn't been uploading as much. So. I um check him out because I I like his videos and I think I think his uh he's he's just been kind of having trouble on YouTube. That's all. We we watch a lot of horror stuff. Uh, The Vitch is probably my favorite horror movie. The Vitch. The Vitch. The Vitch. The original Alien, very fun. Uh, love that one. It's my yeah. favorite sci-fi movie. Like. Uh, it follows, and also, if you want a good home invasion movie, watch Your Next. That one's fun. Yes. Brutal, but fun. Yeah. I I love horror. I just don't. I'm just me is the problem. Uh, I, I, I am more into, like, horror manga and stuff. There's also that good one that I shouted out one time before. It's this um, Korean... Some like asylum movie where Ooh. all these ghost hunters stream going to ghost hunt at this place and they they slowly get got, as you can imagine. That one's fun. And also has a legitimately good scare in it that wigged me out. Ooh. That one was good. Uh, I wish I could remember what it was called. Someone in chat would probably mention it. Someone tells us every time. Every time. And we forget it again every time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Probably because um, the name. Someone said I cannot is in Korean. horror as I am an anxious bab, and that's why I like channels like Spooky Rice because you know you can just listen to the description <laughs> of it. it. You know he shows the movies, but <laughs> I found it. You, you can click out, <laughs> and I'm going to butcher how it's pronounced because I'm very bad at reading, reading Korean. But it's called Gonjiam Haunted Asylum. That was just fun. Some very some very spooky shots in there. 
It's very good. My my horror manga rec always will be uh, Frank and Fran, but only mm. if you can like handle body horror nastiness. Yeah, I love Frank and Fran. I forget Jacob. Did you ever read it? I read some of it. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't it's like fun. The it's book. fun. It's <laughs> fun. I, I wish because it only comes as the omnibus, whatever it's called. I don't like those because they're too thick, but. Because Jacob only reads like when we're on the subway or to go to sleep. So holding like a big book is tiring. Well, I'm yeah, usually laying on my side. True. Yeah. And holding wish... a Kindle with one hand. I wish they would reprint single volumes of older mangas, but alas, here we are. The other day, so Jacob will fall asleep while reading sometimes, and then I'll just, I know that he's asleep because I'll hear it fall and hit something, his Kindle. And uh, the other day, the thing that it fell and hit was me. <laughs> <laughs> whoops it fell and it hit me and i went eh. it's so silly <laughs> and you just you like woke up and moved it onto the table and then fell asleep again <laughs> i was like <laughs> very startled i mean that's that seems about right because the thing that i do to fall asleep is that i play um I play this game called flick solitaire which is very boring which is you know very very boring of me very uh, <laughs> old old person of me but it's very satisfying and I like the, from what I can see of the people who make the app because they hire artists to uh, do the artwork for every deck oh yeah you showed me that yeah and it's beautiful and they hire like, yeah. people from around the world and things like that on, on different topics and it's really really cool um, and they do like artist highlight uh stuff so you can like and also they give like credit that's like everywhere and they have links all over the place to like go to that person's site and their portfolio or whatever they want to link to uh it's very nice and i play a lot of like spider solitaire on that thing so i was Whoa. playing like i was trying to wrap up like a spider solitaire and then <laughs> i got hit with a kindle you got bonked <laughs> <laughs> This is very good. I love the hand. Yeah. Ah. We're we're getting there. Yeah. yeah. Got to make a lot of adjustments on the fly. You're figuring it out. It's almost five. Wow. This stream just flew by. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice easy one. Yeah. yeah. We're all just chilling. Got some chicken in me. <laughs> Could be worse. You're going to order something delish. Oh my god, when I went to drop off the stuff for my friend, her Tito was there, so I got some adobo. Oh, Ooh. hell yeah. I got legit Tito adobo, so that'll be my dinner. That rolls. I want some of that. So excited. I want, I want some of that. Oh, give me some of that. <laughs> give me a little bit of that action. Yeah. Oh, and I also got some canned boba, so that'll be my treat. The church bells have declared that it is five. Whoa. No, it's 459, Damn. dude. Whoa. But the church early bells. Church. I'm almost done. That's fine. Take your time, dude. This is so cute. I certainly took my time <laughs> drawing all those skellies. Oh, what was that noise? You have a noise. Where's Olive's medicine? We oh need God. it. We need it. She's suffering. Poor baby. Somebody save our cat. Mio. Yeah, we gotta get the t the two belts. Two belts. Now let's put the head Ooh, where it's supposed to go. I gotta be honest, I'm really impressed that you remember season one, Rose, because I sure don't. 
I'm looking at reference. She had two belts? Oh. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> I just Googled Rose Draw Detectives and started drawing with the first thing that came up. Uh, nothing but respect. And I, I feel like this is this is the crew. Yeah. yeah. In an over the garden, the over the garden, the wall. Over the garden, the wall. <laughs> Grandma needs to be a little smaller. <laughs> I had to cheat so Grandma for this season for both seasons yeah. so far. Yeah, they're on a box. I had to put them on a box. <laughs> Some tall girl shit. Yeah. This is great. So great job, Jacob. Cute. Thank you. Thank you. Very cute. Wow. Well, that's it. Thanks for being a patron. Oh, that yeah. Was so chill. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for your support. Next Thank week, I'm you. doing draw class. Oh, yeah. If you're at the learner tier, Julie's going to um. be teaching. Character design. Character design in stories. Yes. We should probably announce this in general, but because of our schedule in November, next month's Patreon streams will be in the first half of the month. They'll be very early. So Yeah, I was going to announce that on the first. Yeah. So you get the exclusive scoop, patrons. <laughs> yeah. You'll know yeah. before anyone. Yeah. So Oh my god. Heads up. That's four Fridays in a row of streams. God. All right. Oh my God. Yeah. And then we have Anime <laughs> NYC. Yeah. We have like no free Fridays in November. It's until until the holiday, Thanksgiving holiday. So that's yeah. so fun. That's so fun. Look forward to it. <laughs> I got to do a pour if everyone is telling me. Yeah, oh, you correct. Gotta. You got to put the up. glove on. Hurry up. I literally can't draw without the glove. Fair. That's really weird. <laughs> well, my hand sticks immediately to the screen. That's interesting. Because my hands are always sweaty. I feel like Wait. I never have that problem, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just like used to not having a glove, and then I would, if I used a glove, it would change my life. I've got like some mild hyperhidrosis where my yeah, hands and feet fun. sweat just for no reason. That'll do it. So it's just easier for me. What can you do? That's life. You're so valid. Thank you. There we go. It's a stream. There he is. Good work. We're out of here. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Thanks for being a patron. We'll see you Thank next you. Friday if you're on the learner tier. Yeah, and then the next Friday, and then the next Friday. Yep. Yeah. Yep, sure are. <laughs> All right, bye, bye everybody. Bye.